YouTube, it's Brian Phillips. Look what we have here, all new from Buddy RC. Check this thing out right now. Absolutely beautiful. The Tyrant, if you want. One nine, off-road, ready to run, minus the battery. We're running ours on two 5002 S's in series, but we've also run the Big Brother, which is the truck, and it runs on, we ran it on 5004 S, a singular soft pack, quick release top, so it's easy to pull the top on and off. Huge suspension, very well built, super knobby, very soft, sticky and supple rubber tires. This thing will supposedly go 50 miles an hour. It's very heavy and that one went 55. If you're curious, we'll have both videos. This one has a spoiler, it's optional. I don't think that's gonna survive well because these things flip upside down so easy. But man, can you argue with how gorgeous that thing is? Even the wheelie bar is hidden nicely. By the way, these are, they feel like they're metal or something, I don't know. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna drive it right now on the provided transmitter. There you go, guys. A Little bit of full throttle. That is just insane. Guys, even in reverse, you're burning out. I am controlling my throttle to keep it where I want it. Very good, precise controls. And then you can do that if you want. Like I said about the spoiler, I don't think it's gonna last long. That is incredible, guys. So as you can see, a little bit more powerful than our usual vehicles, but I can definitely say this, this thing is fun to drive. Very different experience than with a truck. And yes, the truck did go up and down our now unfinished dam and creek. Excuse me, not creek. Good braking. And as you can see, she burns out. She's kind of making a mess of our driveway though. And as you can see, that's not even full power. Okay, guys, watch this. There's full power. Chopping the grass like crazy. Supposedly this creation will go 50 miles an hour. And I fully believe it. But that is, of course, if you can get it to go in a straight line at 50, you're doing something fantastic. Because even though it is fun and four wheel drive, it is definitely driving on ice cubes. Let's go back a few steps. Let's see if we can get a full speed pass. As you can see, our very rough grass ops area even does just fine with this vehicle. Full throttle, all four wheels, and then having to brake hard in tall grass. That is something else. Watch it ramp onto the driveway. And absolutely fantastic, so much fun. And I'm just having to be super reserved to keep it going straight. You know, we've seen a couple of these cars that come with stabilizers, and I can see this would be one that could stand to use a stabilizer if you're anything like me, which is a less than skilled RC car pilot. <laughs> that was just a joke, guys. Here on Brian Phillips RC, you know, we specialize mostly in fixed wing aircraft, but that doesn't mean we don't love cars, trucks, SUVs, crawlers, and of course, monster cars or trucks, whatever you want to call this thing. But guys, look at this. This grass is not short. It's, it's hay grass. It's definitely not usually something you can just drive through like a bat out of hell. But this thing seems to do it just fine. That is incredible. It's like it just chews through the yard so fast. Okay, 30%. There's 100% power. Now, also, if you've got a kid you want to share this with, put it to 50%. This is gonna be full throttle pass for you. There's 50%. Full throttle still takes a little bit of skill. You know what I think I need to do maybe is just a little bit of trimming. Yeah, it's kind of pulling. Let's see where the trim is. Okay, so we have the steering trim there. This is going a little bit to the right. There we go. Hey, that might help a little bit. That's pretty good now. Now I'm at the 50% speed limit now. And then the other thing I could do is I could turn up the dual rates. So SR, so I'm gonna go steering rates. Yeah, that's probably gonna make it go more. Yep, you could turn your rates down if you wanna keep it a little easier to control, but of course you can have wider turns. So you turn your steering rates down and it'll make it easier for your kid to not lose control constantly. But you're also not gonna be able to do the things I want to do. So I'm going to turn it all the way up and show you just how much more crazy, see how much tighter it is now, guys. So that's the rate is all the way up now.
even in 50%, you can still just about burn out. And I'm gonna go to 75% throttle limit. And you can still do crazy wheelies and burnouts. Man, UPS and FedEx eat your heart out, tearing up my yard. Yep, and then it just keeps going. That's why I love this thing. It just gives, 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 and gives more. Now also, just to be clear, we're running this on 4S. It's not a 6S platform, but it acts like it's on 6S because of the insanity level. I just can't believe how well it does going sideways down the driveway without flipping over. About 50% throttle input. And we do have our limit at 75. We're gonna go back to 100% now. And as you can see, just burning it up. So much fun. Full brake and slow around and bring it back. Oh, lost it, guys. It looks like I'm doing it on purpose, but I'm serious. It's just so dang torquey. You are constantly correcting this thing. And it's super fun because even after those crazy flips, it always seems to find its way to its feet, just like a cat. So I gotta say, super impressed by that. And as soon as you're done with your leaf blower, we, oh, <laughs> son of a gun. I was just gonna say, the only thing I don't like about this car and the truck is that it just it just kicks up your yard. Look yeah, at this, you're guys. Making a huge mess. Making a huge mess. I mean, it's a super fun huge mess, but it's still a huge mess nonetheless. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do nature walk up to the front. I would suggest keeping them out of water, even though they're supposedly waterproof. I think what you're gonna find on this thing is that it's gonna do fine if you go through a puddle here and there. But what it's not going to do fine with is if you submerge it totally in water. Going around the baby trees here. God, that thing is just so much fun. It just gives. So much fun. Look at that thing burning out. Oh, yeah. Flip back over again. Now, this hill is a little known fact is I hate mowing it. And so I can aerate the soil with this car. Okay, let's uh, not go in the ditch just quite yet, Brian. Oh, yeah! But as you can see, I'm very surprised. We have not lost the spoiler yet, folks. And I thought for sure we would have lost the spoiler by now. Okay, so let's go to this ditch first. Down the steepest part and absolutely no problems getting out of that ditch. Then right down the same ditch. That is like no problem getting out of it either. It's absolutely, look at this guys. That is steep, I can't walk up and down that thing and it just drove right through it, watch this. That is incredible, it does like no effort at all. Guys, this is, I've had my mower stuck here like a hundred times. Folks, we're talking about like an actual mower, a big mower. Okay, so same thing here, let's check this ditch. Now, I don't necessarily want to tear it up in the water because we did that with the truck and then it started behaving kind of weird. Oh, watch out for the snow sticks there, UPS. I did that backward on purpose, guys. Let's see if we can go up the hill backward. Yep, we can get air going backward out of a ditch. Incredible. Guys, that is incredible. I mean, what other car have we ever done that will go upside down out of a ditch backward? By the way, that ditch is something else. It's fiercely anything. rough. Okay, so I think I may have found a tree and got trapped. Yeah. But I'm just gonna tell you something, guys. This is a county ditch. They don't care about this ditch. Not at all. The, the most TLC this ditch will ever get is catching it on fire, okay? And you see this thing just goes right over it like it's nothing. This is not smooth. It is not easy to walk through, let alone drive a car through guys we're caught in a raspberry bush. that is crazy you know what we're caught in raspberries or nope the other things the other things the thing we can't say well that's just what we call them it's a well-deserved title there's nothing there's nothing that we would attempt to drive in that ditch what now there's nothing else that we would even attempt to drive in that ditch Now I can definitely say what would make this car fun 
would be another stabilizer because I feel like this thing is just so out of control, but yet in a good way. Because even when you even when you try to flip it over, it's still make, it's really fun to do. Camera crew, do you yeah. want to try? <laughs> I, that... I was kind of joking. I knew you wouldn't want to. Okay, guys, watch this. See if we can go. Oh yeah, guys, that is an incredible spot. Very, very difficult to get through. It's hard to walk through, let alone drive through. And then look at that, guys. Wipe all your poopy marks on the ground as you go to the next stop. That's just nuts. That's what I'm talking about. This thing just keeps putting out. It doesn't It's care. like one of the first times it flipped over to where it's unrecoverable, but I guarantee you this thing's gonna go. Watch this. Let's just flip you over right now. Come on. Absolutely no problem, guys. I just can't break the thing. It just wants to live forever. It's like impervious to death. The one thing it's not impervious to is straight lines. Do you need to trim it some more now? Hey, come over to the ditch side, please. Okay, so here we go. If you're going really fast, you might want to put your dual rates down. See, it just gets wonky, guys, at full speed. But I'll tell you what, it'll do it. I just love it, guys. It's so much fun. But you gotta be prepared to drive this thing. It is a active driver, guys. There is nothing automatic about keeping it in a straight line, folks. And I think that's, that's part of the fun of driving these RCs. Just be careful, don't let your kids crash into themselves. You end up in the ER for sure. So seriously, be careful about that. As you can see, it's not hard to flip. And the thing is, you get to go on 40, 50 miles an hour and it will get out of hand really fast. Now, cooling fans, cooling both the ESC and look at the look at that. There's like a giant turd splat on it. Gross. <laughs> God, I love it, folks. So much fun. The other thing that's nice about this is 2.4 gigahertz FHHS, FHSS. So it's basically got a real main brand of variety. It's got a capable receiver. You're gonna have lots of range. You can drive away from yourself. It's big enough at a one ninth scale. You can actually do stuff. I wanna see if I can get up here. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna go chasing up there. Let's see if I can get it though. Guys, that ditch is nasty. Like we never walked there. No. Uh, I still want to get stuck in barbed wire. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. Maybe I need to back up because it does really good backing. I know this barbed wire is gone so I can drive through yep. there. <coughs> Folks, amazing. this is the most capable series we've played with yet. And I gotta say the only limit on this thing is my skill as a driver. So you wanna go see how it does in the creek? Or not so much in the creek? In the pond. In the pond? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. So we've been kind of making fun of the name of this thing because it's called the Tyrant. The, the Tyrants. But it's like Tyrants is not typically used in plural. I mean, I guess you could be talking about two of them, but you know, it's sort of an unusual usage. And so we didn't know what you guys thought of that. Oh, don't you flip over down there, dang it. So one thing we noticed about this car is that when it flips, it doesn't break the spoiler. I thought for sure yeah. it was gonna break it's the gone spoiler. by now. I thought for sure it was gonna be gone by the first trip. And maybe we'll have a crack or two, but I'll tell you what, it's still intact. Okay, so we'll do the same thing we did with the truck here. We'll drive to the other side. I mean, it's remote control. Why would you not drive from the other side of your creek? That is so much fun. I'm going way up the hill there. That is a hay field. It is not smooth at all. No. It is processed with big tractors. Not even my tractor is big enough to do it. Well, it might be this year. But as you can see, I am way over there, guys. Okay, so this is our pond. It's not done yet. 
I can't see. You're under the. Okay. Sorry, there. I just couldn't see. I had to stop because I didn't want to run into that thing. That's a giant tree. No problem getting out, guys. Absolutely no problems, except I just literally couldn't see down to the bottom of it. That is incredible, folks. If you don't understand how ridiculous that trip, this is, this is a D6 dozer is what it takes to go up and down this hill, okay? And we're going up and down with a radio controlled car and it's doing it making wheelies, guys. I'm having to manage my throttle up that hill. So much fun. You guys see those tracks? Those tracks will trip a child, okay? You see it bouncing? That's not because it's smooth. So if it can do this, it could do your track at the local hobby club. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's gonna do fine. And just to give you an idea of the controllability in the grass and hills, it just does great. Camera crew's coming with me. So we're gonna drive through where she was standing for the other video. Whoops. Hit a tree, watch out for trees. So this is gonna be the shoreline here if you guys didn't know that. That's why we tried to save these trees. It used to be right in the middle of woods right here. And uh, it was one of the worst parts of this pond is losing part of this forest. But Nature Walk from Brian Phillips RC, that's part of what you guys enjoy, I'm sure, or at least one of you do. <laughs> By the way, that is an incredible Incredible feat, guys. You have no idea. It would take me 10 minutes to walk over there. Yeah. And it's like 50 miles an hour is one thing on pavement. But this is 50 miles an hour through a rough cut pond, guys. It's not done, okay? This, is, like, this isn't even as smooth as it's gonna be when it's done. And look at this, I'm near full throttle, pulling darn near wheelies here. Oh, oh. son of a gun. Now I have to walk all the way over there. All right, we'll pause. All right, we're gonna try this from over here, guys. We're gonna go over to this. This is the dirt pile that they pushed out of the hole. That is a big hill, guys. And absolutely no problems. I cannot believe it. Guys, it's hard to walk that hill. Yes! Oh, oh, son of a biscuit, oh. right in the middle of the drink. Worst spot. This is gonna be the middle of the pond, guys. This one's gonna be the 25 foot deep point. Yep. As you can see, it's not yet. And then I'm- And that is where water would normally collect, but we aren't collecting water right now because there's no dam there. Right, I'm kinda on the dam. Here's the center line. Well, it's a little juicy. Of the dam. A little muddy down there. I want to check my shoes when I go inside. Probably so. That is insane. That's nuts. That is insane. That's Folks, crazy. we've seen a lot of cars. And this car is just amazing from WOV or Wove Racing. It even takes down those little trees. Yeah, it does. And this is the crazy part is I can traverse a hill that I can't walk. And this is not a crawler, folks. I am full braking, by the way. Really? Yep. That is so I mean, it's like 45 degree angle, folks. Yeah. Now, can I make it back out? Oh, yeah. oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is nuts, folks. Absolutely insane. On 4S, no less. Okay, so just so you know, she's like, uh, what, 20 feet up above us now? Yeah. Roughly. Probably. And I wanna just go down this hill. I'm gonna try to go slow. I mean, I'm not, I'm not braking full. I got like 20% braking. There's a little bit of throttle there. Just a little kiss of throttle. Just trying to keep it under control so it doesn't flip on me. That's very steep right there. Holy cow, what an amazing, what a car, folks. Ooh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh no, I got stuck on a root. Okay, let's see if I can reposition. There it is, come on, give it to me, baby. Oh man, this thing's gonna be so messy. By the way, if you guys didn't already know this, 
every time I'm done doing one of these crazy runs like this, ooh, it's slowing down. I think we finally found the battery. Oh, what are you battery. at right now? Well, 20 minutes. That's about what we got on the other yeah. one. Oh, and by the way, the other one, we ran on 5004S. It wasn't two in series, it was a single. And we ended up with about 16% of voltage left. Mm -hmm. So 16% of life after 19 minutes of hard fought abuse, okay? This thing did about the same. And I gotta say guys, this is not a normal RC track. No. You, I mean, I am so impressed with the way this thing did. We've brought a number of crawlers down here that we can't bring up the side of these hills. And this thing is doing it at speed, which is just phenomenal. Now, I would really like to drive out of there because I don't want to go get it. So let's see if we can just, maybe we drive up Take the other a, side. Yeah, just a less steep approach. Because it's still, it's driving, but that's 100% throttle yeah. now. So it's like in the limp, oh, it stopped. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Okay, so that's dead. And that's one thing you're going to find out about this car too, um, is that when they get to the low voltage warning, there's not much and then it's done. Okay. So if you're in a race or something like that, get to the pits, get that thing switched out because it's going to be done pretty soon. Cause that was only what, like a minute. So yeah. super exciting. What a blast. If you guys want to buy one from the links in the video description below, please do so you'll help support Brian Phillips RC and all the things we do related to RC. Uh, special thanks to Dan for working with us at Buddy RC and Clay because he builds the helicopters, which is always nice. Thanks, Clay. Dan's going to be annoyed that I said Clay twice and I said Dan twice, but that's okay. Sorry, so, Dan. Dan. Sorry, Dan. We appreciate you, Dan, as well, Dan. <laughs> there it is, guys. Get one. It's awesome. You'll yeah. love it. And it's just like OMP hobby. I can say it wrong if I want. Omp. Yep. Wove Racing. Wove. That's what we're going with. It's probably W-O-V, but that's okay. We don't know what it stands for and I don't care because that thing is awesome. <laughs> and it drives like 6S on 4S. I can't hardly believe it's 4S. So guys, if you wanna get one for yourself, look no further than the links in the video description below. You know we've got them up at the top. We'll show you the batteries we used or something similar that would be a good fit. Uh, we'll probably link to the ones we used, the one we used in the truck, cause they'll both work. And then maybe we'll find one that's like by design for this. I don't know, mm -hmm. but we'll yeah, make sure we got it. It does come with the transmitter. Okay, we'll show you the issues we had with ours in the unbox portion of the video, which is to follow this directly. So if you're curious about it, we'll show that because here on Brian Phillips RC, we're all about showing you the whole picture of what you're gonna be dealing with. Amazing car, that's the thing you wanna worry about. Secondly, if you wanna support us in other ways, we have Patreon, which is monthly support, YouTube members, monthly support, YouTube super thanks, and then PayPal for one-time donations. But we still think the best way to do it is just get an awesome car, truck, quad VTOL, fixed wing, or heli, whatever you see us review here on Brian Phillips RC. And if you see something you like, but you're like, man, I wish I could get that in the truck that you're talking about. Well, all you have to do is wait for the end and there should be some splash screens with some links. Or you can search on Brian Phillips RC by type, by brand we worked with, hobby shop, affiliate, whatever it happens to be. And you'll be able to find the stuff that we offer that'd be just like this, and it'll be in a group, okay? So, or if you're looking for a fixed wing or a P-51 or a Warbird or, you know, general aviation airplane or like an airliner or a helicopter or something like that, we got all that stuff ready to rock and roll for you at Brian Phillips RC, so you don't have to search too hard. Given that we're up to like 2,000 plus videos, it gets pretty hard for you guys to find stuff. We can barely find it, but we have different utilities as a creator. So. That being said, we appreciate you being here. We wouldn't have done 2,000 plus videos if you guys didn't keep coming back. And so it's a privilege and an honor to serve the RC community the way that we do. And believe me, we love doing it, but it is a lot of work. And so your support is much appreciated. We really do appreciate you guys coming back time and time again, because we would not keep doing it if it wasn't, um, you know, if we weren't finding some level of success doing it. So we appreciate you being there to help us be successful and also, We'll keep you appraised of the situation here in the next couple of weeks. You should be back to start digging the actual, to putting the dam in. And then once the dam is in, then we'll build the dam runway, which is going to be a crosswind strip. Be perfect for today because the wind is like right here. Mm -hmm. And then of course there'll be a um, paved strip here. And here a while ago, we showed the pipe, which is up over the hill, which would be the drain pipe should be about here. And uh, there'll be a lot of stuff coming up. That's going to be off topic, but it's really not off topic because at the end of the day, 
we love this hobby so much that we're investing like life savings, plural, in this aerodrome experience. And so we just want you guys to know um, it's probably more like <laughs> whatever we make here, it's getting quadruplicated or maybe even a little bit more on this crazy investment. And we love it. I mean, this is just like, this is what I live for. So if you guys hadn't picked up on that from watching our videos, um, watch a few more, you'll get it. But we really do appreciate you being here because you're helping to make it a reality. And we appreciate you being here. That car is awesome. You'll want one. Get it from the links in the video description. But we'll also link to the truck mm -hmm. uh, so that it's easy for you to get. And uh, Buddy RC, thanks for working with Brian Phillips RC. Even though we do mostly fixed wing and helis and things like that, we do the ground vehicles too. And if you guys didn't realize we did ground vehicles, we do. And I've been doing those for actually longer than cars or longer than fixed wing and helis and things like that. Because even as a kid... I had RC-10T, or my brother had RC-10T, I had RC-10. And I remember it vividly because it was so much, so much fun. And it was also really expensive. And I'm going to tell you, it was about a third of that car down there. And this thing probably cost maybe a fifth what we had tied up in that little RC car. And you just opened that out of the box. And put, and put a battery in. Yep. Yeah. No, it did come with a battery, though, just right. to be clear. So <clears throat> it's amazing the way technology has improved, but it's also amazing uh, how many choices there are. And that leads you to a point of contention. How do I pick the one that doesn't just look good, but runs good? Well, you watch videos like this, you make a little time investment because our videos are not short. We do long format content here and we try not to puff a bunch of hot air into these things because the truth is if that thing sucked, you would know because you would see it in the way it drives. That thing does not suck, it's amazing and you will really enjoy it. <clears throat> but I'm just warning you, don't crash into your shins, don't crash into your knees, don't crash into your kid, don't hit your mailbox, don't hit your car, you will damage something, because it is fast, yeah. and powerful, and heavy, okay? So that's your nanny state moment. We're gonna get back off of that topic immediately, because you're all grown men and women, hopefully, watching this video, and if you're not, go beg your parents to get one of these, because it's awesome. All right. Any questions, comments, leave them in the comments below. Camera crew, you got anything to add? I think we covered it all. Oh, and we did have to put four double A's in here. We'll show that in the unbox build, radio setup. And uh, to be clear, there wasn't much unbox build, radio setup portions, but we did have an issue and we'll show it next. So stay tuned if you want to see it and we'll help you understand how to get around that issue. If you have the same one, you have a stinky suspicion some of you might based on the packaging. Stay tuned. More from Brian Phillips, our seat right around the corner. YouTube, it's been a long time. We're gonna open this box right now. Welcome to Brian Phillips RC. We unbox these things, we build them, we set them up on the radios, and sometimes they fly. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing is not gonna fly unless we go off a ramp. The Tyrants. Did I say that right? Sure. Okay, so this is, a, this is an RC car. It flies on 4S, brushless power. Comes with everything you need except for the battery, I believe. One ninth off-road monster buggy, as opposed to non-monster buggies, okay? So this, uh, you can order one from Buddy RC. We're gonna have links to it in the video description below, just like usual. Super excited, uh-oh. Not for children under 14 years of age without adult supervision. What okay, if you- so we should be good act like a 14 year old. I don't know what to tell you about that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break this thing out, we're gonna see how it does. It should be fully assembled, so unbox build radio setup is a little bit of a misnomer. Um, hey, let's look at the side of the box here. Look at this. We have press button to lock and release body case. Oh, that's nice. The wheelbase is 333.4 millimeters. Ooh. Wow. 15 kilograms, waterproof servo. Okay, that's huge. Hitch, looks like we have differentials. Okay, let's just open this cool. thing. Um, as you guys know, we predominantly do fixed wing aircraft and we'll do helis and things like that, especially for RC, RC um, helicopters. We love fixed wing as our favorite, but for Buddy, we just did the M4 Max, which is super cool. And we have the M4, the M4 set over there right there. now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay this out of the way. Now this should be ready to run with the exception of the battery, I believe. 
So this is probably our pistol grip transmitter, but it's not one to come out. It's kind of caught on the nose. I think I might need to just flip this upside down. Okay, these come out. Okay. Okay. We're gonna show you how it's packaged. It looks like it's all cardboard so far. This stuff, by the way, it's like really strong stuff. And it looks like this is a, yep. Looks like a spoiler. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just flip it over upside down. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Looks like that's the trigger. Uh oh. Okay, so we've got this out. We have a bag. Okay, that's always nice. Uh, looks like we have a user's manual. Okay, is this W O V Racing? I don't know if it's Wove Racing. User's manual comes with a lanyard, which is kind of nice. It's got a bind plug here. Looks like a really nice lanyard, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I flipped this upside down just to make it easy. Okay, so we have some pneumatic tires with foam inserts. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this. Oh, wow. Okay, Oops. so that flipped over. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. This thing has a wheel on the back so that you can, it's an anti-wheelie bar, oh. so you can give her throttle and she won't tip all the way back. Look how huge Ooh. those things are. Holy cow. Oh yeah, look at this. Release right there. You see that tab? It pulls out of the way. Good suspension. Looks really nice. I kind of like the way that spoiler looks and it looks like there's only three spots. Okay, so man, look how huge those U-joints are and everything. Gigantic. Very cool. Okay. So let's pop this off. It's got tabs on left and right. You just release that thing. So left and right tabs, and then you can just pull up on the body and it'll pop right off. Oh, nice. That is so easy. I'm nervous those plastic things aren't gonna hold up when you flip the thing though. I like the body, it looks really nice. Okay, so this is obviously four wheel drive. Painted silver on the bottom looks really nice. We'll lay that out of the way. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, there is, is that just a battery holder? Kind of hard to tell. Brushless motor, beautiful. Three lines, they've got a line separator. That's kind of interesting. Big old ESC. Power button, push button, okay. Huge servo, plastic linkage that goes to the steering, okay. That's gigantic. Everything, everything is just like really big and beefy plastic parts, which is weird. It's definitely got a harder suspension than I'm used to seeing, which is good because when you're flying around with this thing, it's gonna catch itself nicely. Then of course you can adjust your tension on your springs here. Big catch so you don't lose your springs off the end of the, the strut. They definitely work well. Look how much not bounce back there mm -hmm. is. That's really nice. And then of course this is, I can't tell if that's a stiffening bar or if that's actually, no, the drive shaft is down here. See, it's keyed all the way down. That's mm -hmm. totally sweet. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be a four wheel drive. You can see the shaft spinning there. Looks like we have some serviceability with pins you can get to or screws you can get to. Really small set screws, look at that. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have Velcro. What is this connector style? EC5, what? It's green. That doesn't look like no EC5 to me. Mm -mm. Hmm. Very weird, we'll have to get an EC5 and see if the thing even goes in there. Okay, so we can undo this. Now you probably don't have to pull those all the way out because it's got, oh, it's just got a cover, guys. So if you're using a soft pack, then this will help protect the soft pack as you lower it down in there. Now, this runs on 4S. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going through the unbox part. If it runs on 4S, and that means we gotta figure out what battery we're gonna use. Also, are we gonna put this thing on, the fin? Probably. I want the fin on there. I would think we would. It goes 50 plus miles an hour, are you kidding me? Oh, That's pretty awesome. Now keep in mind guys, if you don't realize how fast 50 miles an hour is, I know there are radio controlled cars now, people are going like 200 miles an hour, which is insane. They're highly modified and that's the type of thing that you do if you wanna end up in the hospital, so just do that if, if you're into how that you sort of thing. You see that? <laughs> to I don't know. Drive. You have, you, the ones I've seen, people have modified them like crazy. Um, but 50 miles an hour is still enough to like do some damage, so be careful. 
And this thing here goes over the top. This is not a small car either. No, it's not. It's really not. Now there's a, there's a nylock in here. What the heck? How are you supposed to get to that? Oh man. Oh, you stick the nylock in over here. Look, show the people right here. Whoops. I went in the wrong hole. I hate it when I stick my nuts in the wrong hole. Uh, I was supposed to say Dan like 400 times. Dan, 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 Dan. Guys, talk to Dan. Thanks, Dan. Dan needs, he needs your help. When you guys order from the links in the video description below, you'll be helping support Dan, <laughs> the man. Um, but we weren't supposed to mention Clay. Oh, okay, so we didn't say that. <laughs> we didn't say that, okay. so we did not talk about Clay at all. <laughs> Even though Clay helped me with the M4 Max. Yes. Okay, so we need our drive so we can tighten that in there. Now, obviously, this is going to be, it looks like it's about a two and a half millimeter. Oh yeah. Did it come with that? Oh yeah, it did. It, guys, I'm sorry. It did come with that tool. Oh, yep. Okay, so I'm still gonna use my driver because it's easier. But if you guys don't have a driver, it'll, it'll have it in there, which is pretty cool. So this is Tyrants. 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 See, now I can read. It took me a second. Well, I was just going to say, it's just kind of like not the way we would spell it, is it? No, I think it is. It's just like not a common word. Tyrants, tyrants, like plural. Right. A tyrant, a tyrant is, tyrant. Like, it's like saying deers, right? <laughs> right. Tyrant, tyrant, well, isn't that already plural? No, tyrants is plural, but Let's ask Dan. 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 Is it, well, tell us is about tyrants. Plural? Yes. Okay. Dan will know. Dan will know. He's kind of an expert of all things RC. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. So kind of a, that's a lot of penetration. Straight. It's tight. Tight. My goodness. I feel like you should be involved. It's just tight. And, Need some help. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, actually. If you don't mind. That is like ridiculous. So I feel like I'm working so hard for this. It is a lot. It's like a million miles long screw. I mean, that this will potentially keep it from flying. So don't well, mount that well, maybe backwards. Maybe we shouldn't take it out. Or maybe we shouldn't have put well, it Well, no, I want it on there. I just, I just hope I can still get the cover on and off. Let's see well, if we can do I that. Would hope. I'm, I'm assuming we can. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's not even hard to get on there. I do love that that's quick release. Yeah, that's and, cool. and there's kind of this vertical fin here. So it gives you something to hang on to. I know it seems like not a big issue, but getting the tops on and off of cars can be a real pain in the neck. Yeah. And if it's not hard to do, that's a big positive, mm -hmm. okay? Now, there's a bit of an elephant in the room, and we're not trying to ignore the elephants because that's what we do on this channel is we show the elephants. Um, let's uh, open up the elephant in the room. Oh. Because I saw something fall out of the box earlier, okay? And I think I know what it is, and it's gonna be kind of an important part of the equation. You're wrong. Are you wrong? Pistol grip. I know. Shoot. So I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. This does feel like it would be an otherwise good size. Uh, steering dual rates, I assume. Throttle, oh, that's steering trim. Throttle trim, that's uh, steering rates. And then G, well, I don't know, on off, okay. Looks like there is a place to attach the lanyard. You can do your limits for throttle down to 50, 75, or 100. And then your throttle rates and your steering rates. Okay, so it's just like high and low. And then it looks like this is gonna operate on, well, this might not operate on anything. Looks like three times UM three by four. What the heck is that supposed to mean? So is that like double A's? I, mean, I, don't know. I hope it's not some stupid manuals. weird battery. Yeah, I hopefully don't want to do that. But I'm actually super disappointed and bummed. Because uh, if you could grab my doohickey, yep. send it over to me. There you go. So Dan, what the heck? <laughs> so I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to be super creative and come up with a solution to this. And we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to fix that pistol grip because I'm too impatient. I'm sure they're going to send us a new one. But for now, I want to talk about batteries for a minute. We've got this. This is a series adapter. It's going to take us from EC3 to IC3. Okay, so this is series adapter. Okay, then I need another adapter because our series adapter goes to IC3 
and we want to go up to IC5. Well, this is an EC5, which is compatible with this. Okay, EC5, not IC5, rather. Okay. So these are IC5s or IC3s, and they are going to work with our hard pack 2S batteries, 30C, 5000s. So that's what we're going to use. So we have these plugged in and charging on our S2200. Now you guys may be using a 4S battery of a different size and that's fine. Uh, those just happen to be our hard packs. So we're going to use our hard packs to see if they fit in there. But for those of you that have ever broken a transmitter, I know it's ridiculous. And I don't know exactly how that happened. But the thing is, if it's systemic, we're going to know because we have another one of these models we're going to do soon. And so I have taken an unbent. Okay. So this is kids. Don't do this alone. Get your parents help. Okay. I also put the lanyard on while I'm catching things on fire. Lanyard is super nice. Have something else okay. So like look, glowing around. hot. Let it slide in. Just let it be for a minute. Wait for it to cool. And then we're just gonna let that sit and cool while we put the batteries in for a minute. Okay, so the batteries are four double A's. I don't know what the heck this UM three by four thing is. One, two, three, whoa, throwing things. <clears throat> Okay, so we got four things there. Blammo whammo, clicked, okay. ready to go. <clears throat> also, <clears throat> so there's an up and a down button here too. I don't know what that does, but I just wanted to point that out because I missed it earlier. Um, so we'll turn this on. You can see there's a nice bright red light. You can turn that off. Now, also, if you want to use the lanyard, then you can pop this off by pressing that button and it slides up, okay? And then this thing can go around here or it can go around here. It just depends on where you like it. I was thinking this is like such a nice lanyard. I might actually use it on my NX70 because we didn't get a lanyard with that. So there you go. Pretty amazing. Now when I catch this thing on fire and melt things, I'll have it attached to my body. Perfect. Good plan. So that's obviously not what we're doing for the finishing touch. Although to be honest, we could almost just do <laughs> that and it would probably work. Okay, so now because I've got one in there, the next thing I need to do is either cut this or go with it, okay? The oven is off. As you can see, it's nice and clean. There's not lots of garbage and food debris Let's in there. Let's not show them the mess. Yeah, well, maybe you could not have the mess there. I'm just saying. Okay, so now I cut it, and you're like, wow, look at that. So there's the doohickey, so I could actually use that. Uh, looks like it's gonna give us full throw still. But then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and I'm gonna straighten this out. I'm gonna use the flat part of the pliers so that I don't put a bunch of Mars in there because that'll make weak points. Or you can hold this end and you can bend this straight, okay? Which is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna take that flat portion of the pliers, square everything up and just flatten this totally straight. Okay, now remember this is Brian Phillips RC. What we do on Brian Phillips RC is we review products. When products have problems, we show you how to fix them to the best of our ability. Obviously, they're gonna replace that transmitter if you have a problem, but I just wanna see if I can get it going without any help, because I'm too impatient. And I know most of you guys are probably the same way. So I just stuck that in there and just get, uh, you know, a couple millimeters of penetration, and then just be patient. One of my least qualities. Yes. Patience, okay? Then I'm gonna let go. Let this cool for just a second. And while that cools, let's go ahead and check the battery fitment. Now, if this battery doesn't fit in here, or these series of batteries, I should say, I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug them. They're both charging at five amps, so it should go pretty quick. You can see we have the leads coming out the top. So there's two ways we could do this. One, we can just put them in there naked and see how it works, okay? So that would probably work. But then we have to put this on top at some point. So we're gonna just have to go through this process. See, there's no exit strategy for the batteries on top, okay? 
See what I'm talking about? Mm, hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, I mean, that might work, but I'm just gonna have to pull it back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out and pull this up. Now, if you have a 4S pack, it's gonna be a lot easier than twin 2S packs in my experience. And so I would highly recommend if you wanna run a battery that's a singular battery, it's always easier. Or it's usually easier, I should say. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a better performance. It's just usually easier, okay? So pull that down until the strap just kind of holds itself out like that. And you know, the other thing you could do is if you knew you were gonna be driving on these smart packs like what we use a lot of times, then you can modify this by just cutting off one edge. This is obviously designed for their offering. So again, nothing wrong with that. It's just not what we have handy, okay? So we'll pull this over. And what we need to do is we need to pull this down. So I'm gonna tug on this until it gets to close to the top, okay, like that. And then that gives me something to hang on to. And you see what I've done here? I'm just holding this where I want it. I pull that tight. And I'm thinking I've got a good enough purchase, but I'm not sure. So just pull this down so it's square-ish. Slide this through. It might be a little bit too tall. You wouldn't have to have the little cover on, would you? No, we wouldn't. You're right. Let's just take it off. Just because you're barely hitting the yeah. Velcro, just give you a little extra. You got to go from this to that. You got to get to the loops. Yep, so I'm gonna just push this back. So then at that point, you just, you know, just put the leads together, right? On the same side. Sure. So the other thing too is two hard packs, does, it wastes quite a bit of height. So you wouldn't have near the difficulty if you had a 4S pack. I think we've got a 6S pack that's like huge, but that would burn this thing up in a hurry. That seems like better purchase on your Velcro though. Yeah, it's a lot better. And shelf liner would stop them from potentially slipping and sliding, because this is a monster truck after all. Monster crasher, smasher, whatever they call it. Okay, so let's see if we can get the series adapter in. So the series adapter, of course, is just gonna be plug them both in. Okay, and then this, of course, goes to another adapter. And then, of course, this thing keeps, that keeps everything from getting into the drive shaft down here, which is nice. But let's see if the dang thing is even gonna fit. I don't want it to turn on. Okay, so I, I plugged it in, I heard a little pop, that's normal. But I would have to hit the power button. So let's just see if we can get the lid on. Looks like it's gonna go. I have no reason to believe it won't. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's gonna go. Nice, cool. very cool. And then the safety clips, safety clip, and safety clip. There you have it, guys. That's gonna work. So that's gonna have a 5,000 milliamp hour 4S configuration. Now, what do they actually call it in the manual? Let's see. You wanna show them that? Mm-hmm. There's your double A's for your transmitter. Battery. Is that it? Where does it say? I don't know. They didn't even suggest anything. Dimensions. By the way, what is the uh, protocol on the transmitter? Um, FHSS. FHSS. Yeah. Okay. Holy cow, exploded view diagram. So this is the other one. Yep. And, and this, this is, is the, the one we have. Yep. Yes, it's Tyrant. It's not Tyrants. Yeah. And then they have every part number of every item you could ever need, which is kind of nice. I have no idea if that's for sale or not, but I just know they have it there. Okay. Yeah, they don't even talk about the battery there, do they? They just say 4S. Well, that's pretty crazy. I guess they don't really care. What's this do? Why don't you give them a quick, read it out loud so I can hear. Okay, you have the LED for power and then your power switch. Then steering rates and throttle trim. Channel three is the up and down arrows, is the momentary switch. Middle position is neutral. For programming, press A button, which would be up, and press down for B button. That's what it says. Then you have your steering wheel and your throttle and your brake. Throttle limit, you already talked about 50, 70, and 100%. Yep. Then you have throttle reversing, which is the TH. Okay. And servo reversing is Oh, the throttle ST reverse, steering reverse. Okay. Servo reverse. I think I said yep. rates. Okay, so yep. let's, let's look at this, okay? 
So my options are I can heat that up and try to bend and try to stick that on there. But I think I'm gonna fail miserably. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna grab with pliers here. I'm just gonna grab right there and I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna simulate the same exact shape that we would get with a forward and backward facing trigger. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this forward slightly and then back just a little bit. Okay, so then I can put my finger in there and I can make, make it happening, okay? Oh, so that's all you're gonna do for now. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I was gonna try to stick my actual trigger back on there, but I'm yeah. not going to. Okay. Now, admittedly guys, it's probably, <laughs> I'm sure Dan, you're gonna be thrilled about this. Uh, but the truth is when stuff goes wrong on transmitters and things like that, we wanna help you guys get up and running because I know a lot of you are gonna be dying once you get it out of the box. You're gonna be like, I don't care if that thing's broke, I wanna, I wanna run it. And that's kind of like me, a grown up child. So pull the trigger, it goes back, push the trigger, it goes forward, okay? The only thing I need to do is just a little tiny bit of fine tuning on the exact position of all this, okay, so that it fits. And remember, I, I could have used a thicker wire, it probably would have been a little bit stronger, but to be honest with you, that's gonna get the job done. Did you say push forward, goes forward? No, you, I think pull, you pull the trigger and you go forward. I you push you, forward and it goes reverse. I think you said it backwards. That goes reverse, Yeah. this goes forward, yeah. just like every other pistol grip transmitter we've ever had. Did I really say that wrong? I think you said it backwards. Well, I think you guys knew what I meant. Oh, I'm sure they did. They Even did. though the camera crew was totally confused. Okay, so now that I have this thing at least running, yes, oh yeah, that's gonna work just fine. See, and now I can pull it all the way back and I can push it most of the way forward. I don't think I'm gonna probably go any more crazy than that on the forward. Um, so now, also, I just wanna point out one thing, guys. Because here on Brian Phillips RC, we don't just review RC products, we also review paper clips. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You should have used one of the ideal The thicker clips. ones. Okay, so this is the type of clip I used, one of these small ones like this. And what I, because I thought I was gonna melt them together. Mm -hmm. I think it was more like this middle size. But if I would have used just a bigger one, it would have been fine. And then I use these ideal clips. They're, they're called ideal clips, but they're actually the worst clips not, ever. They are so annoying. Good idea. And yet I keep using use them. them all the time. So that would be like a thicker piece of steel, but just remember there's not that much material from which to melt into it, right. which is probably why they don't usually come broken. So anyway. Well, I mean, you might break it. We've had kids drop transmitters and stuff too. So if you, we have had like a grand total of two transmitters broken, I believe in the whole time we've done this, this would be number two. Yeah, I think so. All right, so getting on to the next point. So we gotta get this thing bound up. We should be done with our tools. That was actually admittedly a pretty easy fix. Yeah. And you guys wanna know what's really gonna happen is I'm gonna drive this thing and it's gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna open up the other one that we have hiding. And then I'm gonna take that transmitter and I'm gonna use it and see if it works fine. And then I'm gonna let Dan send me a new one. Thanks, Dan. Because if Dan doesn't do it, Clay's gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I can get to the power button without pulling this lid. It does look like it would be pretty challenging, so I'm gonna try. Can I do it with just the, the front now? Are we gonna have to bind? We don't know. We don't know yet, but it's powered up. Like, it's technically yeah, on. Yeah, that's true, it's on. But the thing is, it's not on, it's just powered. Okay, I'm caught here on something. What am I doing wrong? That little one isn't popping in. There we go, I just had to push down harder. That is pretty easy to remove. All right, so power on, beautiful, power. Whoa. Sounds like the DeLorean. The flux capacitor is just kicking. Oh, oh man. This is backward, okay? So steering reverse, there we go. Oh yeah, that is awesome, okay? It's four wheel drive and this could be insane. So I'm gonna go very slow, oh yeah. It's definitely got a little bit of a eagerness to it and it might have something to do with our special improvements, <laughs> Dan. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip this over like that. We're just gonna get this bundle of delightful joy. And I'm not even sure if I need to strap that because to be honest, it's probably okay, but I don't wanna be the idiot that has a broken throttle 
and then also breaks his car because he was too lazy to strap this in. I don't know if we have enough. Strap I just don't know though. if I have enough strap. I don't know. Let's try it. We'll find out. We'll try it. Let's do it. Ready? Set. Stick it in. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Perfect penetration. That worked pretty dang good. And that was easy. Okay. I'm very happy with that. Now, does that mean I would recommend this particular exact battery size? You know, I don't know. Probably not. Ooh, you know what I just thought of? What? We might have a 4S. We might have a 4S. No, nah, these are 6S. I have a 4S. Hold on. Pause. 4S5000 with an IC5, which would be a perfect compatibility mix. I forgot about this one. This is a battery that we almost never use. It's just kind of a weird size. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop that in there. That would give us almost the exact same performance as mm -hmm. these hard packs. The difference is, of course, that is a flight pack, so it's going to be a soft pack. Now, if you don't know the difference between a soft pack and a hard pack, it's more plastic body, more protection against getting beat to heck. Mm -hmm. And so if you were going to use a soft pack and you know, we're airplane people, mostly we do a lot of fixed wing and we do a little bit of helis and then we do some ground vehicles. I would highly suggest that you use a hard pack or use the crash guard on top of it. Okay. Um, and keep in mind, if you're using a lot of ground vehicles, you probably got Dean's adapters, T, T clips. You might want to think about building or getting yourself adapters so that you can leave the factory plug on here. Cause that's actually really nice. So, Okay, so I'm just gonna slide this forward just a hair. I think we're gonna go with it though. What do you think, camera crew? Yeah, I think so. I think it's fine. I mean. I just wanna make sure we're not gonna damage anything because the way I strapped it in here. So I got everything slacked. I just don't want that four wheel drive shaft. Let's show the people. Oh boy. Okay, all right. So this one's probably not gonna be an inside driver. So without further ado, we have taken it from the brink, just like we do on Brian Phillips RC into drivable condition. It likes to catch on this side, I think probably because those leads. Oh, oh. No, it's just this clip is kind of weird. Okay, this one's really easy. I like that it's just, it's easy to use. I'm yeah. sure those are gonna get easier with use, but if you get mud packed in there, you're gonna have to clean it out because those clips will get stuck, guaranteed. Okay, guys, the Tyrants, amazing. Very cool by WOV Racing. Check it out in the links of the video description below. Pretty sure yours isn't gonna come broken. That's the way it would look, okay? Hopefully we answered all your questions. You guys obviously saw this drive earlier. And uh, so we do the unbox build radio setup on these models when they're new to us. And, you know, we've done a bunch of other brands and those brands, when we get about like seven or eight deep and then we just don't worry about the unboxes on cars because they're so similar. But on this one, I got to say, other than the trigger being messed up, really easy unbox, hardly any work to it. Looks like it's really well built, very big, beefy, chunky components. And I like that in a car, especially a car that claims to be a monster truck. Because if it's a monster buggy, the what that tells me is going 50 miles an hour, this thing's gonna be flying through the air and it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, if and it I says can't wait. Off road, that's where we're going. That's right. So, guys, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Dan, you the man. Thanks for working with Brian Phillips RC. We'll never <laughs> promise we would show everything we find. We hope you enjoyed our video and play too. So that's all you get for today. Thanks for watching here on Brian Phillips RC. We literally have so much content right around the corner, sitting in that room there, waiting to be unboxed. And if I hadn't been sick recently and had my balls lasered, I'm just getting my vision back finally from PRK. In case you guys didn't know anything about that, I had my left eye lasered. So if you got confused there, it's okay. Not the first one. But I am starting to see again, and so that's handy. And then we also had a large construction project in our house. So it's been a weird couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So thanks for enduring the gap. I mean, we did publish videos, but it was like just two second thoughts, which yeah. is very unusual for us. And we've had terrible, terrible weather. weather. Show them the windsock. Terrible. Guys, you can drive cars when it's windy. I just wanted to say if you were looking for selling points of cars. Yep. 
You can, in fact, drive cars when it's very, very windy. But flying airplanes in wind like that, maybe once we have a crosswind strip, we can hit some of these windy days on the right types of jets and stuff. But truthfully, it's just not that fun to fly when it's crazy windy, in my opinion. I mean, yeah. you can do it. If you had a big enough flying environment, you could get away with it. But I just don't like turbulence. It just doesn't make the planes look good. And I like watching the planes. That's what I love about flying planes. But with cars, you could do it in snow. You can do it in rain. You can do it in fog. You can do it in dark. You can, I mean, if you got lights, spotlights and stuff. Um, and it is a lot easier to light a track than it is to light a flying area. The air. <laughs> <laughs> which we have seen it done, and it's kind of incredible. Um, so if you guys have never been to Joe Nall, that's one of the reasons why we know Dan. Yeah. Well, Dan is the one Dan that is the one that got to, us to go to Joe Nall. To go to Nall. He day. talked us yeah. into it. He, well, and we admittedly were thinking about it before. We were talking about going to a different thing, and then we talked to Dan, and he's like, no, he's no, like, no, no, no. go to go to, go to something, you got to go, go to Nall. So he's so the did. one that talked us into it. And it, it was yeah. super cool, because we got to hang out with them a little bit, and... So it's really exciting. So we really appreciate the guys over there. And um, there's links in the video description below. If you want to help support the people that support us, that's the best way to do it. Oh, obviously there's Patreon, which is monthly support. YouTube members also monthly support opposite that. And PayPal for one-time donations or YouTube super thanks. If you want to do that stuff, that's fine. But we still firmly believe the best way to support Brian Phillips RC is help to support our community of efforts with distributors and like-minded RC enthusiasts that are selling different products. And the way you do that is you buy these amazing products from the links in the video description below. I promise uh, if yours is broken, they'll take care of you. They're gonna take care of us. And uh, we, we try not to hold this over anybody's heads because there are times that you get stuff that's broken, it's just a fluke. And there's other times that it's broken, it's systemic. And that's part of the reason why we show it. It's because we don't wanna hold things over these manufacturers' heads. It's unreasonable or unfair. But we do wanna show you guys because you are spending some big cash on items like this, and we want you to understand that there's always that risk that something like that could happen, okay? And so really the difference between a company you wanna work with and a company you don't wanna work with, because remember, crap happens to everybody. I mean, look, we've got, um, we got freighters running into bridges all over the world. Just remember, the difference between the company you wanna work with and the company you don't is the people that make things right, yep. okay? And so that's why we have 100% confidence they're gonna make this thing right to us. And that's why we show you how to uh, make it right for two days so you can use it right away because you're a giant, giant child like me. All right, hopefully we covered all the high notes here on Brian Phillips RC. We love doing this stuff for you. So thanks for being here with us and so much more right around the corner. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.